Okay guys, I'm back um, doing another video. I want to talk to you guys today about traveling on keto because I'm traveling in a matter of days to South Africa. So, I've been driving around all day into my little Amazon purchases to get what I need for this trip because I'm going to be gone for just about a month. So, I'm going to go right on to it because you guys need to learn if you're going to do this stuff forever, if you're a diet heart forever, and you got energy, 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 uh, and you want to get the business and all that kind of stuff, let's go right on to how you travel on this biatch, right? Because if you've got business meetings, if you're traveling halfway around the world like I am, um, if you're just freaking going on a road trip, y'all need to know how to continue to do keto on the road. So here's my arsenal. Well, you, got, you guys already know I love my little blue blockers. Got my little Amazon purchase. I think they were like $4.99. Got my blue blockers. So at night, especially when I'm going to fly to South Africa, the time change is going to jack me up. It's a 10 hour difference between Los Angeles and Johannesburg. So on the plane, mm -hmm, when I get there, I need to reset my circadian rhythm so I don't have a hangover for a week. All right, another thing that I love is containers. So here are some containers. They're small. I like them small. I mean, I've got the bigger ones and whatnot. But uh, I like the small ones because I can put a little coconut butter in here, coconut oil, butter, like all the things that get me started for the first day. And when I'm on an internal road trip, when I'm traveling within South Africa, I can continue to fill these little containers, throw them in my bag if I'm doing a three-day safari, for example. Then I can throw some of these small containers in my bag, and I'll last for those three days. So I love these containers because when you travel, you go to the supermarket, and you get a big, arsh bottle of olive oil, you're like, I can't carry this around, and I can't get it past TSA if I'm going to fly intercontinental. So little containers are what's up guys, right? This is what I fill my containers with, yes. So in theory, I can literally just fill one of these with coconut oil, that'll last me definitely the first couple days. Uh, but you know, I love my little coconut butter. You guys, a lot of you guys are not, um, you are carb sensitive. So a lot of you do not do well on coconut butter and you have to build up those GLUT4 receptors and you've got to build up that nice muscle physiology to be able to eat more carbs on keto. I know, but not on the first stage, not on the first step of it. All right, so we've got the containers. I'm gonna fill all these containers up with keto-proof everything. The other thing is, uh, I don't have a top for it, but yes, nice BPA plastic, but it's just for the short term. I like to take Tupperware that I know I don't care that it's crunch. I probably can go and find some BPA free Tupperware, but at this last minute, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to go and um, whoosh, I'm going to stick that in my bag. So when I do a day trip, I can have a salad in here with eggs or some, some type of protein. The thing that's great about traveling is you can kind of get boiled eggs everywhere. So I'll do like spinach, boiled eggs, olive oil or coconut oil, some avocado if I can get it there. Well, you can get it there. It's not Australia where it's like $4 an avocado. Uh, yes, yeah, so I bring Tupperware, empty Tupperware in my bag. Yes, Amazon I'm sure has BPA free plastic Tupperware, but I don't have it with me right now. So this is just an example. Don't get it twisted. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to carry my stuff in a day bag. This is a day bag. It's a backpack. It's a foldable bag. I always have a backpack because with keto people, you just can't have like your little makeup, your little lip gloss, and your passport. Like, that's not going to cover my, my keto, right? This isn't going to cover my keto, keto arsenal, which still has like a phone chip because when you travel, you just put a little sim card in your phone so you can talk internationally or in another country so this is a portable backpack which would look something like this one I, I bought two of them to see which one you know which one would work best and this one was the better one so what I do is I you know I just pull this little thing out of my bag probably can make it smaller and I can put these little 
thingies inside of this and uh, not the blue blockers and whatever water I do have BPA free bottle bottles for water put that in here got everything going for my day so if I'm gonna go to like Soweto for and do a township tour for the whole day I'm good to go right it's not gonna be uh, arduous to go and you know people don't plan ahead they go on vacation they're hungry and they just literally go to any shop they don't have keto foods and that's how people run into trouble when I went to Asia for a month I did the same thing exactly the same I had I've used that little backpack the other one to the point where it fell apart because I used it in three continents in six months um, I use the Tupperware I use the containers which I'll also not be pee free but okay better have good detoxification pathways yes so um, other things that guys might want to consider when you travel is power converter guys stuff's on her stuff I got my little power converter you know what I mean for my little cell phone technology so I can do my periscopes with you guys I can continue to vlog do my video blogs on YouTube and um, well I'm just one of those weirdos right so I was like I have like a little miniature sleeping bag, which I won't need, but I like to have my own little, my little blanket. So I got a little pocket. This is so cool. It's like a pocket, pocket blanket. Love it. So it can fit. It's the, the box is actually bigger than that. You can just stick it in your pocket. It's a little blanket, right? I'm telling you. So, um, you guys, if you're going to, um, exotic places like I do, you have to pre-prep. If you want to remain strict keto, you got to pre-prep. I'm going to South Africa. Clearly, I'm able to speak English there. When I went to Asia, I had to write notes saying that I don't eat sugar or I will die. There's one drop of sugar in my food. So I had no problems traveling all through Asia where they said it was impossible to uh, be one month in Asia, three countries without sugar. And I made it. Not even a problem. And when I go to South Africa, that'll be easy to go to restaurants. Um, on day trips, I will make my own amazing, amazing, you know, maybe I can get some canned salmon and some egg and do a salad with some coconut oil or olive oil, spice it up, I'm going to bring some of my own spices, and, uh, and that's the way I ate in Asia on, like, when I was going to Cambodia and going through all of Angkor Wat and for hours and hours, and I had my little backpack, boom, boom, and I was good to go. So there's no excuse why you guys cannot stay and remain strict keto. I'll do videos. I should have done one the last Christmas because I want to show people how you can go to family gatherings and holiday parties and stay strict keto. It's not that big of a deal, guys. It all depends on how badly you want it. Do you want it? Okay, if you want to learn more on how to get into ketosis, how to travel on keto, how to make this sustainable for the rest of your life so you can be like superhuman running on ketones all the time I can't even explain right this is a chick who is almost 50 and it just gets better uh, you can go to stephanieperson.com for when I come back to book a consultation to speak with me live you can also go to stephanie the business person on my Facebook fan fantasy <laughs> fan page and you know what I got energy 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 uh, or you can go to my Instagrammy, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. But you guys know I love my periscopes, and I'm going to be periscoping all through Africa at Steph the Business. B I Z N E S S, Steph, S T E P H, Steph the Business. And talk to me live, and the Twitter is the same name, Steph the Business. So that's it, guys. Yeah, I think I need to do a periscope now on all of this stuff. Kind of cool, right? Excited.